this video, we're going to walk through the easiest way to start your blog on Shopify. So I get a lot of questions on Shopify and a lot of you are always asking, you know, do I need to do a different blog? Should I start a blog on WordPress? And the answer is no. Shopify has a great easy blog built into the platform. So let's walk through how you set it up and how you can create your first blog. So you're going to go down into your dashboard and click down here into your online store under your sales channels. Then you're going to click on blog posts. So right now my account is password protected as I am building out my new online business here. So bear with me for that. So it says create blog posts, and then you're just going to put something like whatever sample, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to click save because if you don't, you'll lose it. But then what we're going to do is come down here. So go all the way down here and then under organization, you'll see it says blog and the default is news. So what you want to do is actually create, I like to create a new blog and I would call it whatever sample. And then you'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna open this back up. So this is a blog post called Whatever Sample. And it's under our blog called Whatever Sample. So what you would do is you would save that and then come back over here and click blog posts. And then you can see here, this is where the blog posts would show up. Then you can come up here and you can click manage blogs. So news is the one that's like the default one. Um, you can always change that and just update the title. It doesn't really matter, but I wanted to show you one, how to get access to the blog, not just the blog post, because people oftentimes will see there's a blog post, but they don't know how to actually do anything with the blog. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click view blog. So actually, because my thing is password protected, it's not actually letting me view it. But if you click this, um, you can here change the title. You can then do the SEO. So you could put, let's just do a real blog. So it would be something like Amuse Joy Poo Bags Blog. And I would put your, you want to put it a search engine friendly description. So like your weekly dose of all things dog related to help you level up your pet parenting game from health. Whoops. I cannot spell health and wellness tips to everything in between brought to you by Amuse Joy Poo Bags, Seattle, Washington. I don't know. I'm just kind of making stuff up, but you want to kind of put something in here so people will know one this will show up on the search engine listing preview. So if I come here and I click like dog blog or something, see all the stuff that shows up under the description, that's that search engine section. So you want to kind of put something in there that entices someone to want to click on it. So don't just use the default, put something that makes someone want to click. And then you can see here, like right here, the dogs slash a dog, a blog about dogs. Um, this one says, Oh, my dog home. So again, like that wouldn't be a great search engine title. So you want to just put stuff that really entices someone to want to click on it. Django brand, the 15 best dog blogs you should follow. So like, this is a great like search engine listing preview. So anyway, that's kind of how you do that thing. Whoops. Where did I go? Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So you put that and then, um, down here, what I would do is I would put again, the title of the blog. So amuse 
whoops, Amuse Joy, Who Bags, Dash Blog. So you could do that. Or you can literally just say amusejoypoobags.com slash blog forward slash like, again, you want to pick a title for it, but you could keep it super simple. So again, dog blog, and you could do like a dash in between there. So something like that. And then again, we're going to change the title up here. Amuse Joy Poo Bags blog, something like that. So you're going to want to click save. And then here's where you can adjust the comments. So um, you could put comments disabled. I would always allow them. And I think it's always good to allow them and then pending moderation so you can approve them. Um, if you have them disabled, it's, you know, it's, it's good to encourage people to leave comments, honestly. So I wouldn't have it disabled. Um, you could also just do comments are allowed and are automatically published. And if you feel like you're getting a lot of like crappy things, then you can always remove that. So let's just go back and see uh, what else we can do here. But yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. It's pretty much good to go. And another thing that you can do is you could technically create a different theme template, which I'm not going to go into on this video, but you could technically do that. And then what we're going to do here is I'm just going to click I'm going to come over here and I'm going to open up this blog and sample post. I just want to show you a couple of cool things that you should do when you're creating a blog. So one is you can come here and click generate text. So you could literally put, this is an introductory blog post about launching a dog poop bag business. Um, please include information about the poop bags. They are biodegradable and super fun and cute. And I launched this business to make dog poop and dog walking more fun and more like cuter to look at with cute poo bags that aren't boring or tacky. And then you can just click, I'm going to click tone um, playful because my brand is going to be a playful brand. So make sure that you choose the right tone of voice. And then I'm going to click generate and let's just see what it says. So you can always click generate again and, and see what it says. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. And why this is really great is that sometimes we just don't have it in us to create a blog post and blogging is so important for SEO. So I really encourage you to be creating blog content and you're not, you know, this is not a personal blog, it's a business blog. So the easiest way to think about that is what are the questions that people ask you about when it comes to your product? Or what are the things that people are searching for when it comes to your product? Create blog content that speaks about those things. So I'm going to copy this and we're just going to use this as an example because I just want to show you a complete from A to Z how to create a blog post. Okay, so this is pretty decent. If you do do that, make sure you delete that stuff at the bottom. Um, okay. I'm going to change the title to we launched a fun dog poop bag business, our story. And then again, you can just keep whatever you want. And then I would put something like drop a 
comment if you are tired of boring poo bags. So it's always good to have a call to action in here. And I'm going to use formatting like heading three, perhaps. I'm going to bold it and italicize and underline it just so it's really obvious. So this would be our first blog post. We have a title. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down at the bottom. And this is a really, really important is again, the search engine listing preview. So if you just put whatever, then basically this is pulling this stuff here and putting it onto Google. So you want to edit this a hundred percent. So I'm going to put something like, I launched a fun dog poop bag business. And then I'm going to put a bracket um, or maybe how, how and why I launched a fun dog poop bag business. And then I'm going to put the brand name, Amuse Joy Dog Poo bag. Okay. So it cut me off, but see how this right here would be a better search engine listing preview. So again, up here, these right here are going to be your search engine listing previews, the bold text about under each link here. Okay. And then I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to see if there's anything in here that I could grab and like replicate. So there's not. So I'm going to come back down here and I'm going to put, so if you see this, this is not exactly like going to interest someone to want to open that. So I'm going to put something like I just launched a dog poop bag business. Ah, what an exciting time and what an exciting time, and I can't wait to share our story, our why, and what makes our poop, dog poop bags so dang special and fun. Okay, so you can definitely make this a little bit longer, but what you want to include here are keywords and just like make it interesting. If you put keywords in here and then no one opens your blog post and you're not doing yourselves any favor, you want it to be interesting still. So I would put, make sure I have the word like cute dog poop bags or something like that. Um, I launched a dog poop bag business with an exciting time and I can't wait to share a story where it makes a dog poop bag so fun and special. Um, Created, created in Seattle, Washington, a small business or something. I don't know. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to change this title to our founder story. So something that kind of makes sense for the article. And then I'm going to add a featured image. So because I don't really have any images, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to put, uh, maybe like the logo and I don't know if this is the right size, but I think that's fine. And then you can add tags and things like that. Um, for now I'm not going to worry with that stuff, but this is great. Let me see if I can, if it. I don't know if it's going to let me preview it, but we'll see. Oh, it is. Okay. Okay. Wow. That's very big. So we launched a fun dog poop bag business, our story, ba 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 ba. drop a comment. Okay, cool. I like it. So that's how you create a blog post. These are the things that you want to include. You want to have a title that's like search engine friendly that includes some keywords. You want to, um, have enough text here. I didn't go deep into like the text that you should put in a blog post, but I wanted to give you an example of how to leverage um, the AI tools within Shopify to generate some of the text for you. Um, visibility. Oops, I forgot that part. So visible, make sure it is visible. That is super freaking important. And then um, I added a featured image. I added the search engine title, 
and then I added the search engine description and then I updated the URL. So something that like makes sense and then I'm going to click save. So that is how you create a blog in Shopify, super easy. And then every time you want to come back and create a blog, you come back here, click on blog posts, click add blog post, and then blah, 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 blah. And that's how it's done. And then you can click here, manage comments. So if you do allow comments on your blog, you can then manage those here. So that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you're interested in starting a store on Shopify, I have a link in the notes below that you can use and you can get, I believe they're offering right now um, three months for $1. So it's absolutely a no brainer. And if you have any questions, let me know in the notes. And of course, be sure to subscribe to this channel and tap that thumbs up button. All right, see you next week.